Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So, as you can probably tell, I am sick. I have like congestion right here in this area, and it's just gross. I feel gross, and I'm constantly like. With that being said, this is going to be a very chill video, and I'm going to be talking about some of my favorite face masks that I use all the time. So if you're interested in seeing this video, then just keep on watching. Okay, so when I do face masks, I'm either going to do like a detoxing face mask, um, like a hydrating face mask, and then a face mask to like brighten up my complexion. The first one that I want to talk about is a detox face mask. This is the Aztec secret Indian healing clay face mask. I got this off Amazon, I believe, for like $10. And this has lasted me forever. So it comes as this powder. I mix mine with apple cider vinegar. It smells awful whenever you mix it and you put it on your face. However, this is the most intense face mask I have ever done in my entire life. <sighs> It says that it is the world's most powerful facial and it totally is. On the back here, in like bold letters twice in two different places, it says feel your face pulsate and it does. My face pulsates when I put this on my face but when I'm having one of those times where it's either like that time of the month or I'm just having like really bad breakouts I will use this face mask and I can only use it like once a week once every two weeks because it is so intense like it is intense and then after I use it I have to like slather oil on my face because it pulls everything out of your face everything that you have it will pull out it like hardens and it like pulls your face and it kind of feels tight like this and when I wash it off it looks like I had a sunburn wherever the mask was and I know that that sounds really intense and scary don't be scared it is the best face mask it is one of my favorites if not my favorite face mask that I own like I said I do mix it with apple cider vinegar you can mix it with water um, I mix it with apple cider vinegar because it is thank you I know mama is sick because it is good for your skin and it helps breakouts. But like I said, you can just mix it with water. It says if you have like sensitive skin, you'll leave it on and let it dry for about 5 to 10 minutes. I use mine for about 15 to 20 minutes because I just want to. My face feels like I have new skin on my face. That it took off all the layers of terrible skin and just like put on new skin afterwards. Well, I had a zit up here, which you can still kind of see the residue from. And then I had another one over here and I put this mask on, dried it up completely. And then, I mean, the zit is gone. It's just red from me picking at it. It does suck out all my zits and it just dries them up. It is my favorite. It is so affordable and I love this stuff so much. I've had this for a year, if not over a year. I have like this much left. So you get a lot of product for your money's worth. Definitely highly, highly recommend this one. The next one that I really like is, you can actually buy from the drugstore. This is Queen Helene Mint Julep Mask. It's a complexion solution. Deeply cleans and refreshes. This is for oily and acne prone skin. So I actually use this a lot during the summer. I do have combination skin and in the summer it is extremely, extremely oily. This does help absorb my excess oil um, and it does extract impurities. So if I have a zit or something on my face, I will take some of this mask and kind of put it on my pimple and then sleep in it. And by the next day it has soaked up. This is kind of like my extreme and this is like a step down so if you aren't wanting to use this one I definitely recommend this one it's not as extreme as this one even though this is my favorite one um, it is a really good drugstore option though and it smells like mint and it's very cooling on the face so I do really like this one as well that's it for my super intense face masks for detoxing now I'm gonna move on to the next one I have this little sample here I bought this in like a little package of a a lot of different Peter Thomas Raw face masks and I've been using these 
these for a couple months now and I found two of them that I have really fallen in love with. So this one is the Irish Moor Mud Purifying Black Mask. This was to purify, refine, decongesting, hydrating mask. The only thing I know is that when I use this mask it says to leave on for 10 minutes. Honestly I probably leave it on for 30 minutes just because I'll put it on and start like doing homework or something. I put this mask on and when I wash it off my face just looks blurred. I don't know what it is. I don't know what's in this. The one thing that I know that it does is it just blurs everything. It blurs like my discolorations. If my skin looks kind of dull, it just kind of plumps it and brings it back to life. I'm actually almost done with this and I'm going to buy the full size, which is I think ridiculously expensive. But after seeing what it does, I'm completely in love with it. So I have really been enjoying this one. And then the other one that I got from Peter Thomas Roth is the pumpkin enzyme mask. This is a three-in-one intensive skin resurfacer mask. It exfoliates with pumpkin enzyme and peels away dead skin. Okay, so this is another really intense face mask. I can, when I put this on my skin, I immediately feel it tingling. It kind of hurts just a little bit. I like it because it makes it feel like it's doing something. So I do like the painful feeling of it <laughs> but it does have a pumpkin smell to it not like a good like pumpkin spice smell but just like pumpkin it does make my skin look plumper and kind of adds this like inner glow i actually just used this face mask before i filmed this video oh my god i do have a little bit of powder on my face but it just has this really nice glow and like plumpiness to my skin it is because of this mask i do really really like it i'm running out of natural light because the sun's going down my next favorite face mask. I actually got this in a an either a birch box or an ipsy bag. I'm not quite sure but the first time that I used it I just fell in love with it. I love the way it smells. It just smells like a spa. It smells very clean and just has a very crisp relaxing smell to it so I just love that about it honestly. So this is the Joriel Parker the Fango Mud Therapy. It's a hydrating face mask so this has like sweet almond oil, avocado oil, green tea, antioxidants, and volcanic ash minerals in it. One thing that I love about this face mask is when I put it all over my face, first of all, I'll lay down and close my eyes because it's so relaxing the way it smells. But besides that, once it dries down, except around my nose and my forehead and my chin where I do have blackheads, like really tiny ones that you can barely see, it just shows up. You can see every blackhead on your face. And to me, that's just really cool. This is not a very intense face mask so if you like to have something that's more relaxing and you just makes your face feel really clean after using it then I would highly recommend this one. These next two masks I will use when my face feels incredibly, incredibly dry and flaky. First off is this Glam Glow Thirsty Mud Mask. I purchased the Glam Glow masks in the small containers because these are like $25 when the giant container is like, what, $70? You do get a lot of use out of these masks. They always get me when I'm at Sephora and I'm walking in line and they have these like at the counter when you're checking out. I'm always like, yeah. When I use this and my face is very dry I can feel it tingling on my face and not like a painful tingle like this one does or this one just a nice just tingly feeling that you know that it's hydrating and penetrating deep into your skin to hydrate it I love this mask my face looks so plump and hydrated and just my makeup goes on so well after I use it the next hydrating mask that I have is the Antipodes Manuka honey mask it looks like a little thing of toothpaste this is a very hydrating mask but I will also use it if I am having breakouts honestly what I'll do I'll use this mask like if I'm having extreme breakouts like to the point where it's ridiculous or like this really painful breakouts that just like hurt I'll use this mask and then right afterwards I'll use this one because it's very very hydrating and honey is a good antibacterial so it will help fight the bacteria on your face and get those breakouts under control it just makes my skin feel so smooth and hydrated after I use this honestly like when I'm studying I'll put this all over my face and you're supposed to only leave it on your face for like 15 minutes but I'll leave it on there for like an hour <laughs> and by the time I wash it off my face feels so good afterwards it just feels very clean and hydrated <laughs> 
Like I said, I do use all of them for completely different reasons depending on what my skin is doing for that day. I do have combination skin in the winter, I'm very dry, and in the summer I'm very oily, so it kind of depends on what's going on with my face. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you found some products that you are excited to try. If you did like this video, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!